Oh no, my mouse! My M-A-U-S fell from my seat. Or, this is not really a seat, this is a... Okay, stop talking, you're already in the recording. Alright, get your mouse, get your M-A-U-S. Don't hit the wrong button now, you piece of crap, you always do that. Okay guys, welcome back to my let's play of 999, 9 persons, 9 hours, 9 doors, or I don't know, I usually interchange them. But uh, in the last episode, or the last few episodes, actually, Kilo joined us, my boy Kilo. Uh, yes, uh, I I reached 500 subs, which is kind of amazing. I never thought I'd reach that number. Not until I was like 89 years old or something, but anyway, it happened and I'm glad. But anyway, enough about that. In the last episode, uh, we got, let's see, we started in the medical room. We got the ju the, the Jupiter key, and we gained, uh, we gained the Earth key and the was it the Saturn key, right? That's what I was trying to remember. The Saturn key from Lotus. And now the party split up a while back and then you know we took an elevator down that we used the seven key for to go under to go under um, to E deck and we found out there was door number six on the on the E deck. So we came back up expecting to hear news from Lotus and friends. So we're gonna find out what these guys learned when they took the Earth key and went and explored their path. But we don't know exactly where Ace, um, Ace, Clover, and Seven have gone. I know they went to door number three, and we don't know. Uh, we haven't heard from them since. So let's try to get some things done in this episode. Anyway, um, it was interesting that the deck wasn't flooded. Hold on, maybe my mic is, is my mic too far. I don't know. There's no way for me to actually tell. Uh, Lotus was quiet for a moment, lost in her thoughts. No, no, the E deck is safe. Let me check the around the lever. That's true. There was, she has a point, there was a gate that we didn't really, wasn't able to pass. So there's door number six and there was that gate. So you guys make sure you keep a mental note of that. Even so, it is still very interesting. You said the sixth door was there, right? Yes. Yes! But I mean zero plan all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant something pretty serious. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah. I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. I w it would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace, with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by the same organization, by some organization, sorry, with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. That's true. People with money usually do crazy things like this. That thought made them all go quiet for a moment. June bit her lip while Lotus uh, sighed softly to herself and said, cracked the stiff neck. Oh, I'm about to do that too. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and stared off into the distance at nothing. Mm, what does it really matter? Stay here. Large, large pleading eyes. Yeah, let's go check up on Ace and Pals. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door number one. Huh? You guys leave me behind? Right, cause 19, okay. Oh man. Um, the digital roof that is one. Just kidding. Alright, let's go. Loris's words were all in, hmm, the impetus, impetus they needed. Back to the large hospital room they went. Yo, that is so creepy. The moment they stepped inside, a tremendous voice echoed across the room. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? You're not gonna believe this. Okay. There was seven. Ace was right behind them. Clover was behind Ace, although she seemed to be hanging back. It looked as though there was something strange about them. Seven had the look of a man who's seen a ghost. Oh shit, don't say that. Ace was just as pale, and Clover looked as though she was only moments from passing out entirely. For a long moment, they simply stood there, looking at one another. Junpei looked around nervously, waiting for someone to break the ice. No one else did. No one did, rather. He looked at Seven. What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Seven was trying very hard to be angry, but something had shaken him hard. His shoulders were trembling, and his voice was strained. Snake was... Snake is... Seven couldn't finish. He just looked away, his face twisted by... Junpei wasn't sure what. Instead, Ace spoke. He took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and spoke. Snake is 
Dead. He died just as the knife man did. Holy crap! Oh man, she just got epic. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, I actually did use the bathroom, but I noticed something even more important than that. My volume is low, so I had to go ahead and fix it so, so you guys could hear it. Uh, maybe I'll sync it up so that you guys will hear it anyway, like loud enough as it is now. Uh, I'm sorry for the bad audio quality. I don't know why it's like that in the emulator, but um, let's keep going. We realized now that Snake is dead. Oh no. It was as if the air had suddenly been sucked out of the room. Jupe felt his heart heartbeat quicken, and he realized he was having trouble breathing. He could feel cold sweat beating on his forehead and neck. June, Santa, and Lotus looked the way he felt. All three, frozen in place, their faces white. Oh my god, that's not true, is it? No one moved the muscle. We should make sure. Um... If he was killed the same way the knife man was, I don't think that'd be a very pretty sight. Uh, yeah, right, we should. Curious bastards. Oh my god. I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. Wait, not that way. Jupe stopped short and turned to look at Seven. Why not? He was pointing at the door with no number. Oh! That door! Where'd you get a screwdriver, bro? <laughs> Anyway, it's not locked, so you can go in that way. Wh where is he? The shower room. Oh, God. On the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there, too. To keep the door open. Damn, it's been... Oh, my God. I have, like, the creepiest background right now. It's like a, a girl staring at you with her eyes wide open. It, it, oh, my God. Like, my computer background. I am so freaking creeped out right now. The music and this chick's eyes staring at me. I mean, you know what? I'll flash it. I'll flash it at the end of this video. I'll put the girl's face. That way you can see what my background is. It's so fucking creepy. Jupiter's companions, door with no number. I mean, something about just going to. Ah, this unknown shit is so freaking spooky. It's ridiculous. I mean, I had no problem playing this on my DS. I wasn't scared at all when I did this, but now when I'm playing this on a bigger screen, I can see everything clearer. Damn, man. And the fact that the music's distorting is kind of like, ugh, taking its toll on me, man. I'm like, my heartbeat just increased by like three beats. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, my heart just stopped. Oh my god. That sound of something opening, I thought someone was opening my door. I fucking. I like jumped. Holy shit. Yo, stop being a faggot. Man up. Ah, that smells horrible. Lotus, come on, you know this game, you played it like seven times, just fucking do it, you know what's gonna happen, stop being a coward. Lotus wrinkled her nose and covered her mouth in disgust, even Santa pinched his nose shut. What do you mean even Santa? Yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke! It's just as bad as they said, perhaps worse. A hideous smell filled the air, so thick they could almost taste it. It was a sour smell of fish, feces and burned meat. Worked his way through Junpei's nose and down his throat to pound against the entrance of his stomach. He put his hands over his mouth and struggled to keep what little he, what little was in his stomach where it belonged. Oh shit! Look at that. They didn't have to wonder what about it. Yo, that fucking creepy face. Oh my god, I can't stop looking. At it. I'm gonna have nightmares. They didn't have to wonder where the body was. There was blood everywhere. A few arms splattered reaching toward them as they walked through the door. I can't even read right, I keep looking at this fucking face! Oh, oh my god, calm down. All one had to do was follow the many radio arms to the source. The body itself was hidden behind a divider. June, you should stay here. But, please just do me a favor, uh, yeah, just, just stay here, like seriously. Last time you like almost fainted, you had a fever. I don't, I don't know, you're not gonna handle this correctly. He didn't give her a chance to say no. He put his hand on her shoulder as if to shove her into the ground like a temple. Uh, turned and walked toward the end of the divider. It felt like it took an eternity for him to get there. Santa and Lotus followed, timid and nervous as a pair of children. Eventually they reached the divider. And lo and behold, they looked at one another and nodded slowly. Juby put his hand on, his on the divider and peered around the corner. Oh my god, stop with these... Yo, I, I gotta lower the volume. This is too fucking loud. I'm gonna fucking have a heart attack. 
For a moment, he forgot to breathe. He, oh my God. he felt his heart collapse in his chest like an, like an empty cigarette carton. In time for, it's like I, I'm getting into character. I'm, I'm jumping right now. I'm feeling the way he's feeling. Holy crap, man. Now I know what acting feels like. <laughs> he knew in that instant that he would take the image before him to the grave. Oh my god, I'm glad they don't show the whole body, the, the blood sickens me though. What was left with the, the body sent in the sea of blood? <clears throat> oh, ch chunks of flesh torn from the body sent oh, send the blood like... T <sighs> Tiny islands on a great red sea. <laughs> a vast ragged hole had been torn in his torso and what remained of his intestines spilled, up, spilled out of it like, a f like fresh spaghetti. Ugh. Smaller chunks of meat had splattered against the wall and became stuck there as they dried. Globules of yellowish fat ugh, had left trails like tiny, tiny slugs as gravity pulled them down the wall. <sighs> Even as they dried to it. Just like Ace said, Santa's voice was strained. Junpei suspected he was holding down some vomit of his own. Man, no kidding. Just like the ninth man, the detonator in his braces set off the bomb his gut. Oh man. Please, no loud noises, please. I, I am legarophobic. I cannot hear loud noise. That shit fucking creeps me out. It looked as though the explosion had been quite powerful. His legs were both bent in an unnatural way, and his left arm had split open, exposing the painfully white bone of his ulna. Oh, God. His bracelet lay next to him. It seemed to have hit the hard war. Ugh. It seemed to hit the wall hard enough to have shattered the display which lay on the ground piece. My eyes are going everywhere. I'm looking at the girl, I'm looking at the blood, the text, in my hands. This is ridiculous. Half of his head had simply collapsed. The blood coating almost made it look like a raw piece of dough covered in tomato sauce. I'll never eat pizza again. His clothes too were covered in blood. The burgundy tie, the white shirt, the jacket with the yellow piping, and the gray slacks. They were familiar to Junpei. No mistake about that, it's Snake. Oh fuck, Clover. Lotus's voice was unnaturally deep and strained, and Junpei uh, I heard a catch in her throat. Oh my god, this is such a morbid tale. Oh my god, that creaking of the ship is driving me nuts. The squeal of tortured metal made Junpei's teeth curl. Yo, man, I'm getting into character, I'm telling you. It sounded like the most... Shut the fuck up, man! I'm trying... Yo, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. You know what? I'm just stay up. It sounded like the noise a ghost would make. No matter how many times he heard it, he had never gotten used to it. Every time he put him on edge. That fucking face. I swear that shit blinks at me. I'm punching my screen. I swear I'm gonna fucking bust my TV and I'm gonna run out the door. It didn't help... It didn't help that there was a girl nearby who looked far more like a... Yo, are you fucking serious? This game is fucking... Yo, this game is... Yo, I'm gonna be right back. Hold on, I gotta wash my eyes. Alright, guys, I'm back. Oh, my God. Holy shit, fuck! I, I swear, I didn't fucking click on the mouth. I did not... Oh, my God, dude. Fucking... Yo, relax. I, I have chills on my spines. Do I need to get... Yo, I'm about to step outside again. Yo, I did not click. I didn't... I, I, swear, to, I swear to you. Oh, my God. I did not click on the fucking mouse. And then, I see Clover appear. I almost... Yo... Uh, yeah, I kind of like want to. Why are you so fucking pussy today, man? Like, you play this game, you know what's gonna happen. Stop being a fucking pussy. It didn't help that there was a girl in there, but I looked for like a ghost and living human. It was Clover. No, it's not Clover. It's that fucking girl in the background I have. Oh my god. She sat on the edge of the bed. Oh my god. She sat on the edge of the bed, her head drooping listlessly into her chest. Her eyes were blank and stared across the room at nothing. Her breathing was slow and mechanical. Aside from the rise and fall of her chest, she didn't. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Yo, I swear I'm seeing things. I, saw, I, I could have sworn I saw like a black shadow go through my closet. Something fucking is playing with my head. I mean, I'm a psychology major. major. I, I know that. I know this. It's just a trick playing on my head. I just need to relax, take a few deep breaths. God, it's like I see. It's like every single black spot in my room starting, suddenly starting to appear. Like this spot I've never seen before. Spots everywhere. Like, oh my god. Aside from the rise fall of her chest, she didn't move. Junpei felt as if there was a nudge. My cause was shattered a thousand pieces. Oh, I'm totally playing this at night every day. <laughs> this is the only time I play it. 
I, I love scary games because, you know, I only play them at night, and this is why, because it gives me such a rush. I don't know. Jumping Fells is nudging my cost of shadow to a thousand pieces. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the knife man was. Seven lowered his voice, likely in an effort to keep Clover from hearing what he had to say. There were four of the people in the room with Jumping and Seven. Ace, Santa, June, and Lotus. Seven looked at each one of them in turn and continued. And we're going to stop right here before we continue on with this let's play. And see you guys later. Bye.